At the end of the previous video, I showed you how to reference dependencies within the same module. So I, I referenced the application context within this module and then returned a Boolean based on if it was null or if it wasn't. This isn't a super practical, it's not practical at all actually. You would never actually do this. So now in this video, I'm gonna show you a practical use case of something that you would actually do. We're going to uh, create a Glide instance and set an image in auth activity from that Glide instance. And I'm also gonna be adding a, a drawable dependency. So there's a couple things that you need before we can we can do this. Number one is you need the drawables that we're gonna be setting. So go to the GitHub page for this project. There's gonna be a link in the description of this video. Uh, if you're on my website, there'll be a link also in the description of the video just down below. Uh, if you Otherwise, you can just go to my GitHub, go to the branch referencing multiple dagger dependencies within a single module, click that, and you're going to need to download a drawable. So go to source, main, uh, resources, drawable, and it's not in there. That's the wrong branch. Okay, you can get it from the master branch. So if you go to the master branch, uh, you want to download the logo and download the white background. So literally just click on these, download them. Once you have them, uh, you need to drag them into your project's drawable folder. So for me, that means I would go into dagger practice, app, source, main, res, drawable, and I'm going to drag them into this folder. Um, I actually have a project, another project open, so I'm just going to copy paste that over. So I'm going to the other project, I'm copying those, now I'm going to come into this project, I'm going to hover over the drawables, and I'm pasting those in, clicking OK. So now I have this logo and I have this white background. Those are the two drawable resources that you're going to need for this video. Now the, the next thing that you'll need is the Android, you'll need to convert to Android X. Uh, as I said at the beginning of the course, I'm using Android X. Uh, if you don't know what Android X is, I wrote a blog post on it. Spend, you know, this, it'll take you five minutes to read this blog post and convert to Android X. If you haven't, you should. Um, there's really no reason not to. It's the new way that they're organizing their dependencies. Uh, so definitely read this and convert to Android X if you haven't. If you already have Android X, you're good to go. Now we are going to, to move forward. And uh, the, the thing we're gonna move forward with is we're going to design the layout for activity auth. So right now, if I open this up, there's just kind of that hello world text. Um, I'm gonna copy paste in the, 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 the layout that we need for auth activity. So I'm gonna go into, you can go to the master branch from the dagger examples, go to main, go to res, go to layout and go to activity auth and just literally copy this whole thing. We're not, I'm not gonna, I don't see a point in building this on camera. This course is on Dagger, not on building layouts. So I've copied that whole thing. I'm just gonna hover over that and paste it in. Um, so it uh, should, be, should be all good. One thing that you'll notice is the, the text input edit text is not working correctly. And that's because it's referencing the, a material text field. And to use a material text field, you need a external dependency. So you need an extra dependency. And uh, that dependency is the material, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but just go to app from the master branch, go to the build.gradle file, and uh, this is the dependency right here, this material, com, Google, Android, material, material dependency. So I'm copying that. Once again, I'm on the master branch in the build.gradle file. I have that copied. I'm going to go to this build.gradle file, and I'm going to paste, paste that in at the top here. So now if I sync this and uh, wait for it to finish, if I go back into activity auth, uh, now the layout is showing correctly. So we have uh, just kind of one field that is the user ID, and then we have a login button. And then up top here is an image view that we're gonna be setting with Glide. So we're almost done the setup. I know there's a lot of setup stuff in this video, uh, but we need to. So I'm going to, uh, now the last thing we need to do is get the actual Glide dependency. So I'm gonna go up and open a new browser window, github.com slash bump tech slash Glide. This is where you get the Glide dependency for setting images. I'm going to copy the Glide dependency. The newest version is 4.9.0. I'm gonna go into the build.gradle file one more time and paste that in. I'm gonna create a constant named Glide version and set that equal to 4.9.0. Uh, we need to change these to double quotations because I'm gonna be referencing a variable 
you always need to change this to double quotations. I wish they would just use it by default. I hate having to change it every time. Now we can reference the glide version there and I can reference it down here. And we're finally done all the setup. Now we have everything we need to finally work on the dagger stuff for this video. Okay, so I'm gonna go into app module, the app module class, and I'm going to delete this dependency and I'm gonna also delete this dummy string dependency. We don't need those anymore. That was just for demonstration purposes. Uh, I'm gonna go into auth activity, delete this log, delete these injections. Those are no longer needed. Those were only used as uh, for demonstrations. Uh, now I'm gonna actually create some real dependencies that we're gonna use in the application. So first one is going to be add provides. It's gonna be static like I, I talked about before. This is going to be a request options dependency and we need this to use Glide. So provide request options. Uh, if you're wondering, the convention for naming these methods is provide and then whatever the object is. So in this case, it's I'm providing a request options object. So I'm writing provide request options. And I want to return request options uh, dot placeholder, placeholder and uh, dot r dot drawable. This is where I'm going to reference that white background that I added at the beginning of the video. And then I want to also reference an error image. So this is this is going to be used if for some reason Glide can't load the image, if it has an error or it just can't load the image, then you're going to see that white background. So I'm just providing some default request options for Glide, which I'm going to reference in the next dependency, which you're going to see right now. So once again, I'm writing at provides, and this one is going to be again static, but this is going to be a request manager because this is this is going to be our glide instance basically so provide glide instance is what i'm going to call it and this is going to take a couple a couple objects as input so first of all i need the application which you already know that we have access to the application because inside the app component we're binding the instance using the application object so that is available within this module so i can i can i can pass it as input through the constructor and now this is something you haven't seen before. So I'm gonna write request options, request options. So I also have a request options object available because I'm providing it right here. So by default, Dagger is going to look and see whatever objects you pass through the constructors and see if that dependency exists anywhere inside the module or inside the other modules in the component. So. Uh, what I mean by that is I could have also gone into our activity builders module and I could have put it right there. And if I put it right there, it would also work just fine. Obviously, we don't want that. Whoops. Obviously, we don't want that because uh, that kind of breaks the organizational flow that we have. I want to keep all of our provides methods inside here. So now, now the request options is being provided. Now I can use these and return a Glide instance. So glide.with application, and then I can do set default request options and set those request options. And now accessing a Glide instance from anywhere in the application is going to be very simple. We can basically just inject it anywhere. Now the last dependency that I want, that I want to add is uh, the drawable resource for the logo. And this is that that image that I the other image that I added at the beginning of the video. So I'm going to write uh, static drawable. Uh, this is going to be provide app drawable. So it's just uh, the logo basically. I need the application context because I'm going to be creating a drawable. So context context compat dot get drawable. Uh, I can write application and do r dot drawable dot logo. That's that logo that I added at the beginning of the video. And now the last thing I'm gonna do is inject all of these and actually use them, make use of them in auth activity. So I'm gonna come into auth activity and first of all, inject some dependencies. So the first one is going to be, whoops, that drawable logo. And the second one is going to be our glide instance, which is the request manager. So I'll just do request manager. Now I'm gonna create a method for uh, setting the logo. So private void set logo and inside here I can just do request manager dot load and I can load that uh, that resource which is the logo and then do into the uh, the image view so image view and that's going to be find view by id r dot id dot 
uh, I believe it was login logo. So if you don't know where that came from, you can just go into activity auth and that image view right at the top here, the ID is login logo. So that's what I'm setting it to. And uh, that should be good. I'm just gonna call set logo in the onCreate method and we can run this and you'll see that auth activity is being set up as we expect and the, the, the dependencies are being used and the logo is being set. So bringing up the app on the screen here, there's the application launching and there's the logo being set. So everything is working as we expect. We have a bunch of dependencies inside here. Uh, the provide glide instance one is referencing the application context. It's referencing the request options, which we provided up here. And then we have a drawable, which is also referencing the application. So we have a whole bunch of dependencies dependencies in here. Uh, some depend on others. Uh, I think this is a really cool example. I think uh, definitely this is going to make things make a lot more sense to you after seeing this. So now, uh, now we have some dependencies, we have some provides, we have uh, our one component. Uh, now the next step, I haven't actually written the next part of the course yet, but I'm pretty sure the next step is going to be, uh, we're going to look at singletons and scopes in general. So, uh, you know, like, annotating things with the at singleton annotation and just kind of talking about scoping in general because I'm sure some of you are wondering why I haven't been scoping anything. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering about custom scopes. Those of you who know a little bit about Dagger, uh, don't worry, we're going to get into all of that.